Shanae's new thing now is flowers. She loves the wild flowers over here in WA. Uh, she tries to take a photo of different ones every time I get anywhere, but there are lots. They're everywhere, sort of just along any road, out in the middle of nowhere. What's the game plan for this morning? Breakfast. Breakfast. Breakfast at the beach. What are we having? Pancakes. Pancakes. The dog's off over there doing an aqua turd. He loves aqua turds. Does that feel nice on your bottom? Yeah? Oh, hey. oh, you did a little poop in the water. You did poop in the water. Oh, Nice little waterfall here. Um, and then while we fish, oh, while we cook breakfast, we're going to fish as well, so. I took the boat out off here the other day and didn't have much luck, but while we're here, we'll give it a crack. Um, we just went and explored the West Town National Park and it looked a lot fishier there. Would have been a really good spot to have a fish, but obviously you're not allowed with the dog, so um, we just did the old quick drive through. It's 15 bucks for a day pass as well. We didn't want to spend that either, because we can't spend any time in there with the dog, so we might leave the dog in the camper tomorrow and go check it out first thing in the morning or something, but um, for today, just the Hartman's Beach, which is dog friendly. Um, and hopefully the sun keeps up for a little bit because it's supposed to piss down in the afternoon. So wish us luck. bit of a hot bite here. We'll um, see how long it takes to get one. See if I can get this to sit there probably. Yeah, that'll do. See how we go. With a little fat nostra with a bit of uh, pippy squid and pilchard.
nice little herring. So we should have a nice little feed of these. We've been banging them all afternoon. So, um, yeah, they don't get very big, but we, we think they're tasty anyway. Tasted our first one the other day, so we'll cook these up later today and show you. Is that now? 20. 20, you reckon? Got hey, the, you, got a, you got a jerky. You got a jerky? Yeah, so, what's your technique? Okay, yeah, fair enough. I'll put it in the bucket. None for you. Getting completely outfished here today, and it's not on. Probably something to do with the fact that she's snapped a rig and tangled two rigs, so I've had to make four up today, and every time I have to do a new one, she continues fishing with the other rods, so, you know, would be nice, but it's just like an unpaid charter, basically. So the dog's having a good time. At least she baits her own hooks, and we've taught her how to dispatch the fish quickly, so with the herring, we, um, we just basically gill them to bleed them, because they're quite an oily fish, so, Quick slip, basically nearly chop most of their head off. They bleed out and then throw them in the bucket with some fresh water. So, all good. So we've popped down to West Howe National Park today. It's just a little bit further down from Cozy Corner where we're staying. It was supposed to be raining again today, but it's not. Um, it is chilly, although. Uh, so, yeah, I think you're actually allowed to camp down here. There's all these little spots I don't think maybe you're allowed, I don't think you're allowed caravans, it's just tent camping. Um, so you pull your car up next to it and set up in these little grassy areas, only tents. There's a van just over there parked up right here overlooking the ocean. So it's a shame that the national parks always have all the good camping. Um, it, it's, yeah, I don't know, I suppose it just is what it is, but um, oh, it'd be bloody nice to set up here, I'll tell you what. A short little walk down to the beach every morning, fall asleep to the sound of crashing waves. Cozy corner is nice, but the beach down there is a lot rougher. It's not tucked into this little cove. Um, there's Sinead saying the shells here as well, which gets her excited. So, but um, yeah, absolutely stunning. Would would love to stay here, bloody dog though. I suppose in the van as well. I don't know how that works, but. top of that West Town National Park. I think they also do uh, paragliding from here. They've got a dedicated area for it. That's what these ramps are for, for launching and coming back when the wind's right, obviously. Um, yeah, it's, it's probably, we're, we're just saying, she knows the same. It's probably one of the nicest beaches we've seen in ages. Like obviously up north, you get all that turquoisey blue water. Um, but with the big tides and that, it's all murky and a bit, you know, like with the, the rips out and that, whereas these beaches are that crystal blue sort of water. It's obviously a lot colder, but it's, um, yeah, that against the granite rocks and the, the big hills is really, really beautiful. It's just a shame that this section is National Park. You get down to the beach where we're sort of camped at Cozy Corner and it's a bit typical sort of surf beachy a bit like all weed washed up on the beach and the water's a bit murky because it obviously gets churned up but in here because you've got all these little protected coves i think it's always um fairly protected so you get the, the better the better weather and the better beaches so but um still good for a bit of an explore if you were at, i don't think you're allowed vans in here at all either you're allowed like not you're not allowed a tote i think um, you're only allowed to be tents or in a like a van so if you had a van or a tent and you're coming camping, I'd definitely, definitely come and check this out. I don't know if you're allowed to fish off the beach or not. There's no signs that say you can't. So I reckon the fishing here would be really good too. The captain of a ship, are you? Look at me, I'm the captain now. Go look at it. Be out here, pissing on with the boys, wouldn't you? Mm. Having some mead and ale, wine. <laughs> Assistant 
catch it. Who did me? That's the far as I can stand up at you. I'm watching you drink the water. Go get you. Swim, 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 swim. Go, quick, 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 quick. So we just come from the uh, whiskey distillery, uh, Lime Burners. They've also got the gin distillery in uh, Margaret River we checked out. So we went and did a taste in there. I did the Tiger Whiskey Range and their Single Malt Whiskey Range Taster. Um, not much of a whiskey man myself, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I didn't end up buying anything. A lot of it was nice. I'm sure lots of uh, whiskey drinkers would really love it, but not really up my alley, so... But it was um, it was still good to check out. We took the dog out back, so it was all good. Now we've just shot past the shops, um, picking up a few bits and bobs. I grabbed some chips. Shanae's driving me because I had too many samplers. It's me and the dog. You want a chip? Just waiting for in the car now while that gets done. So. We also went down and checked out, there's a dog friendly beach down there, which Chuck had a bit of a run around. I think it's called, I can't remember what it's called. Down near the whaling station. So we checked out the, the old whaling, the historic whaling station while we were there. Um, took the dog to a beach. We didn't actually go into the whaling station. Um, it was $32 per person. Chuck, good boy. Um, it was just gonna be too much money for us, but we did go in. Uh, checked out the cafe. Uh, Sinead got a coffee, I got a milkshake and um, and a scone each before we went to the distillery. So we checked out the gap and the natural bridge. The beaches down there are stunning. Albany, all in all, is a really, really pretty place. So definitely recommend checking it out. If you're in the area. What's that? Bird poo. Bird poo. Oh, lucky girl. <laughs> Can we get changed? 